Hi everyone, Frank Westfall here. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a bootable USB with Windows 11 on it, like this, using the Windows Media Creation Tool. Windows 10 end of life is coming up on October 14th of 2025. And because of that, we're gonna to wanna to be off of Windows 10 entirely prior to that or shortly afterwards. There are specific requirements that are new to Windows 11 that you really need to know before you try to install it because if you don't know them, there's a good chance you'll run into issues and not actually be able to install it. I just did a video on explaining those requirements and I also have videos on how to configure the specific requirements for Windows 11. All right, let's get to it. The USB disk that we're gonna use has to be eight gigabytes or more in size. And when we create the bootable media on this USB, it's gonna format the disk and overwrite anything on it. So if you have files on your USB, you have to put them somewhere else before you use it for creating the bootable media. Go to a web browser and type in download Windows 11. This is free. There's no reason to get a copy of Windows 11 anywhere else. So we're gonna go to Microsoft.com, download Windows 11. And what we're gonna do is create Windows 11 installation media, which means a DVD or a USB that is bootable. So we're gonna download this and that's been downloaded. That's actually in our downloads folder and we're gonna run it. This process of creating the bootable media can take a little while. Now, I like these settings, but if you didn't, if you're using a different language, you could uncheck these and choose a different language. There's actually no other option except Windows 11 here. So these settings work for me. Next. And yes, we want to put it on a USB flash drive. Again, it needs to be at least 8 gigabytes. We are good to go with that. And we're going to hit next. If you have multiple USB drives in your computer, you want to make sure you're choosing the right one. I only have one in this computer right now, so I know it's the right one. So next, this is where it's actually downloading the operating system installation files, and this can take a while. So we'll just let that run. So now the drive is ready and we can hit finish. It's going to clean up some temporary files before the media creation tool is done running and we are good to go. You do need to know the system requirements for Windows 11 because if these requirements are not met, you won't be able to install Windows 11. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. I do try to answer them. And if you're not subscribed already, please subscribe and hit the like button for more computer systems tutorials videos. Bye.